This is WPSL Port St. Lucie. The opinions expressed on this program are those of the host and guest and are not necessarily those of WPSL or WSTU. This station does not endorse products that may be mentioned. Any reproduction or retransmission of this broadcast is strictly prohibited without the express permission and written consent of this station. Phone lines are open for your questions and comments. Call 220-9788 or 340-1590. And now, here's your host. And with us today, the one and only, the Grand Poobah of Treasure Coast Lexus, Gary Mary Urasi. Oh, by the way, happy anniversary. Oh, well, thank you. Ah, yeah, I, you caught I, that, I, huh? I caught you. Uh, Can't yeah. slip anything past you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can you imagine? It's uh, what? Yeah, that was your uh, first or second? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 32nd. Yeah. 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 My wife uh, deserves uh, some type of medal or award or something, but uh, 32 years, yeah. Wow. Amazing. Yep. They said it wouldn't last uh, back, <laughs> way back in the day. <laughs> That's all right. Carol's mom said the same thing. It's going to be 45 years for us in a couple of weeks. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. We got married on a Friday the 13th because um, no way our, did you really our families were uh, completely against it they were they were up in arms and everybody was really <laughs> upset and you know and big mistake you're making a big and um so we're like okay and we looked at the calendar and we said okay this ought to really get them going and so we <laughs> <laughs> we did it we did it on a friday the 13th oh man well we we thought we were being you know really coy we went out to Carmel, California. Very nice. We were working in Tucson at the time in a mm-hmm. television station there and uh, thought we'd be really cool and went in to get our marriage license and stuff. And all of a sudden, there's these two guys standing outside that, of course, we didn't see them, but they saw us. They were, they were detectives from the Tucson Police <laughs> no, Department no. who were returning some suspect to Monterey. So anyway, they tailed us. They wow. tailed us, those rats. So anyway, we get married at Highlands Inn uh, <laughs> overlooking the water and stuff like that. But nothing was said. But the police information guy was a rival sportscaster to me. And um, so it was about, oh, four months later. We were at a University of Arizona football game. And he goes, oh, by the way, congratulations on your marriage. <laughs> and I said, we're not married. It, we had a real strict nepotism rule at the station. Yes. And so, so did Pam and I. We were, at, we were at the same company at the time. Okay, okay yeah. there you go. So then, um, I, then he described what would happen. I'm going, oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. That's and that amazing. was before you know, everybody had a phone on, a camera on their phone. And exactly. They still got you. Yeah. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Friday the 13th. Yeah, we. Wow. That's when I knew she was a keeper because, you know, she picked the date and I said, uh, I like the way you're thinking. Um, yeah, that ought to really get everybody upset. <laughs> so they're already upset. So we might as well go for it all, right? Oh, that's So wonderful. that's always, every Friday the 13th is kind of an anniversary for us. We, we have fun with it. <laughs> I love it. That's great. So what's going on at your place? Well, here we are, uh, middle of June. Well, past the middle of June, actually, right? It's the 19th already. And, uh, you know, in, a, in another, what, 10 days, 11 days, we'll be exactly halfway through 2018. <laughs> We'll be we'll Slow be starting we'll be starting to plan the Christmas parties again, right? <laughs> Got Christmas kids, the schedule's already out. Yep. Unbelievable! I feel yeah. like we just finished that, but but here we are, and um, we just keep we just keep uh, moving ahead and moving forward, uh, ready or not. Here we come, and uh, June uh, is uh, you know we're in the midst of summer. We finally got some good weather. You know, we finally it finally stopped raining a little bit, so we're very very. Uh, happy about that because the the rain does impact our business some, you know. So, oh sure, it does. especially the exactly. kind of rain we were having, you know, that was th- those weren't just little drizzles or, you know, spot thunderstorms. You know, we were just we were getting downpours all day long. So good to see some sunshine, and so we're in the midst of our summer season, which you know in summer we uh, we focus a little bit more on pre-owned vehicles, and seems to be. You know, the market really dictates that. I, I, I like to say we focus on it. It seems our guests focus on it. And for some reason, you know, in the summer months, 
um, the the emphasis and the volume shifts a little bit to pre-owned. I don't know why. Uh, I wish I I wish I did, but hmm. it just seems to work out that way. So we, you know we uh, we of course go along with with what the market wants, and so our focus uh, goes to goes a little bit to pre-owned. You know we've got still got great new car specials going on, great lease specials on. All our core product, our, our RX, our number one seller, our IS, which is our sport um, four-door sedan, our ES, the midsize sedan, and, of course, the NX, which is our smaller SUV, which Carol drives. So you know you know that vehicle very well. I had well. to pry her out of her car <laughs> because she was sleeping in it. No, I'm just – she loves that car. She really does. And you get to drive it. I see you uh, for oil changes and service. Uh, one. That's oil it. change. Yep. That was, that's <laughs> that the, was the one time you drove it. <laughs> that's the extent. Oh, but next week we're going to be going across the state to uh, the Florida Broadcasters Convention. So, uh, yeah, I may get a shot at driving. You may get some bit. time behind the wheel? I think uh, maybe, All yeah. Right. I mean, you know, that's Good for Tampa you. Bay area. That's, what, 18, 20-hour drive? It is. <laughs> it should be right. It's just that I four. <laughs> it's that one slot that I four oh. where you can just sit there forever. My uh, son lives in Orlando in South Orlando. You know, so oh. it's yeah. You know, when you when you go to Google Maps, you know, it says you know it's an hour and forty seven minutes or something like that. Yeah, I, I've never made that trip at, at four a.m. <laughs> an hour and yeah. forty seven minutes. We, I, I remember, we were uh, going to play St. Pete College. And we hit that one. And it's, it's not a very long stretch on I four. No, but it was a parking lot, absolute parking lot. We didn't even make it to the gym until seven o'clock, which was supposed to have been tip. And it was like, oh man, unbelievable. I've I lived in Orlando for twenty years, and going back to the late eighties, and you know they've been doing that same construction on I four. <laughs> <laughs> since I lived there and I go back and you know because every time they finish and they add another lane well they're done that took five years and they need another one you know right. so they, they just start over again and plus they're doing here on I-95 yeah mm-hmm. same thing it's amazing <laughs> you say why don't you just build two lanes right. at, at one whack no and no no come no. on that makes that makes too much sense. So what what about uh, some of the uh, certifieds? Well, we've got you know we've got of course our pre-owned certified vehicles, which um, which you know are just the best pre-owned vehicles on the road. KBB has named Lexus the best L certified. Excuse me, the best certified program in the automobile industry. Um, U.S. News and World Report, same thing, and um, we we're just at the top of every list when it comes to you know to those vehicles. Of course, we're at the top of those lists when it comes to our new cars for reliability and and problems per thousand cars and you know whatever list you pull up, you'll find us at the top. But we're very proud uh, to be named the number one best certified pre-owned program in the country. And that's wow. what that is what we specialize in in the entire industry, and and it's it's not complicated. You know, Lexus does a really good job, I think, at keeping things pretty simple. And why are we, you know, why are we the best certified program? Well, let's start. You know, we start with the best cars. It's it's funny when uh, when folks come in. You know, our cars are legendary for attention to detail and how they're built, fit and finish, uh, and how long they last. They're just built so well that we do a little we do a little experiment sometimes with guests. You know, guests will come in for a new car, and they'll say, "Well, I'm looking at you know I'm looking at this and I'm comparing it to you know two of your competitors' brands," and we'll say, "Okay." And and fortunately, sometimes we'll have some of the competitors' brands on our lot as pre-owned cars, oh, okay. and we'll say, okay, uh, you know, here's here's a really good um, uh, experiment for you to do. You're looking at a 2018 RX, let's say the you know our SUV, sure, our best-selling vehicle, safest car in America, named by the Insurance Institute. The we say here's a th- we have a three-year-old RX. I want you to drive that one too. I'm like, well, but why? I'm not looking for a pre-owned car. 
I want you to feel oh. what a three-year-old RX drives like, sounds like, feels like, because one day that new car you're buying is going to be three years old. So we're very proud of the fact that you won't see much difference and you won't hear much difference. Now, we're also going to do the same thing with our competitor. Oh. And uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. that is I know where this is going. That is a really neat um, you know, little experiment because inevitably, because all new cars, all brand new cars, you know, when you take them on that nice test drive, you know, and you go a mile or two around the block. Right. On freshly paved roads, you know, it, it's uh it's oh, they're all gonna ride great. You know, they all have the new car smell, they all are nice and tight, you know, everything feels good. Uh, we love to show the difference, you know, after the car has 30,000, 40,000 miles on it or more, and after it's two or three years old. To us, that's the real defining moment. That's the real difference when you can truly appreciate the difference into how our cars are made. Because, again, when they're brand new, they're all great. Yeah. And and every time we do that with a guest, it's just an eye-opening experience for them. And then they get it. The light bulb kind of goes off, you know, where, wow, you know, that car is three years old. It drives just like the new one. Yes, it does. Wow. So, you know, so we start with, you know, with a certified pre-owned program. We start with phenomenal vehicles. They're pre-owned Lexus. So you can't start from any better point than that. Then we take the cream of the crop and we select those to be certified. And when I say cream of the crop, not every trade-in, you know, that comes back to us or every lease turn-in, you know, that comes back to us gets certified. It's not a, just a, you know, um, uh, a rubber stamp and no, we, we call that certified. Each of those vehicles, we have to check the, the history first. So we need to see things like it has a clean Carfax. We need to we need to get it up on a lift and make sure that there's been no structural damage to the car. We look at things like rust. We look at things wear and tear. So the car goes through a 161-point inspection, which is mandated by Lexus. It is not optional. So we take that. And once we've been through that and the, the history it passes muster, then it goes through the 161-point inspection. Now we can say we have a candidate for a certified vehicle. 10 to 20% of the vehicles that we take back in do not pass that inspection. So, again... How much rust do you get from Northeast Lexus's? You know, it's funny because um, of the salt. We see that um, not not um, not too frequently, you know, because it depends how they you, you know they use the vehicle. A lot of our guests have dual residents. You know, they have homes up north and homes oh, down so here. Oh, so they have cars in both places. They do. Okay. So yeah. we we don't see a whole lot of those, believe it or not. Gotcha. No, that makes sense. And uh, so we. Um, we we're fortunate in that we don't have to deal with a lot of those, but but you know when we do, they get an extra thorough you know look over because we don't want issues down the road, and Lexus quite frankly won't let us certify a car like that. So start with the best cars, then we are very picky about the ones we that we say okay that's a candidate to be certified. Now we say it passes inspection. Then the spirit of the Lexus L certified program is that car, that vehicle, that SUV must be brought up to new car standards mechanically. So if the tires are, you know, six thirty seconds or lower, which brand new tires, you know, are eight to nine thirty seconds, to put that, you know, in perspective. Gotcha. Okay. So if the tires have, you know, too excessive tread wear um, then they have to be replaced, which most do on a certified vehicle. Uh, we check belts, hoses. We test the battery. We check the brakes. We check everything mechanically on that vehicle. And again, if it's not up to 
new car standards, it gets replaced. We don't repair things, you know, on a on a certified pre-owned car. We replace. So, and you don't put yummies used tires on your <laughs> no, car either. No. <laughs> no, you know, we uh, we use Michelin's primarily. Um, They're great. They are, and uh, so we we use what the manufacturer calls for. So that's what gets replaced on that vehicle, and um, so now that the car has been inspected. Now that we've done the work to the car, I mean, we spend an, we spend over two thousand dollars every time we certify a car, because the majority of them are going to get a brand new set of tires. Whatever services do next, we do it. So if the car has twenty eight thousand miles on it, we do the thirty thousand mile service. Oh wow! Okay, that's part of the certification. Um, if the battery tested and it wasn't, you know, it was weak, it's replaced. We don't just charge it and say, okay, we're good to go. You get a brand new battery. Brake pads, you know, again, less than six millimeters. You know, you get down to five millimeters. That's, you know, you still have half the brake pad life there, but not good enough for Lexus. New brake pads will go on the car. If there's any type of pulsation, you know, in the braking system, they will turn the rotors. They will, you know, that car is going to drive like, a brand new like car. it was when it was brand new. Yeah. And wow. that's the certification program. So the safety features are all working correctly. Um, any of the wear and tear items, you know, we've taken care of. Mechanically, anything that is not performing like it was when it was new is fixed, replaced. Any recal- recalls that might be on the car are completed. So now we stamp that car L certified. So that's a pretty long process from, you know, when we grabbed the car, when we got the car back on you trade got, or lease, yeah. you know, and I think a lot of people think, well, they just put a, you know, a banner on the car, a sticker on the car that says L certified and, you know, here we go. Uh, it is not that at all, not with Lexus. And that's why we're voted the top L, you know, certified program in the automobile industry because we're not just, again, rubber stamping it and just calling it certified because we can That is, when we stamp something L-certified, Lexus L-certified, that's the process each and every one of them went through to earn that badge. So now we put that out on our lot, and we still are going to price that car to market, which is how we price everything uh, on the pre-owned side, because with, um, with the advent of the Internet, and everybody shops online now, you know, it's not just a. It's not just the millennials. It's not just. It's everybody. We did before we got Carol's car. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. we, I I looked for months. And our our guests do the same thing. So when they're looking particularly for a pre-owned car, you know the statistics are pretty uh, pretty um, mind-boggling. We have you know NADA does surveys. They've been doing it for thirty years. Car buyers. We have all these big, you know, marketing companies, Auto Trader, Cars.com. They're constantly doing research to figure out, you know, how to reach their customers, how to be more effective, so they can charge us more money, the uh, yeah. the dealer. <laughs> yes. So, but they do. They they they're all of their studies pertaining to pre-owned cars are all telling us the same thing, and they tell us that it's upwards over ninety percent now. Um, folks shopping for pre-owned cars are doing extensive shopping online before they ever come to your dealership. Some other things that they that they tell us in the in the past, you know, when I first started doing this many moons ago, a guest would be looking for a pre-owned car, and they would physically visit four or five dealerships, and they'd say, "Well, you know, I'm going to go look at this." You know, they'd have their classified ads, right? Mm-hmm. And and they would, oh yeah, <laughs> and they would go, "Oh, that's a newspaper." There's, wow. oh, right. <laughs> there are five cars I've you know narrowed it down to. I'm going to look and drive each one of them, you know, because you couldn't didn't have access to Carfax reports and histories and things like that. So with the internet now, though, they do all of that online, and when they come to our dealership, it's funny they they say. I'm here to see, you know, stock number P2762. I mean, they already know. They know that's the car they want. Where, And if you go back 20 years, the average used car buyer visited a little over four dealerships 
per transaction before they bought a car. I would not be surprised. Today, it's about 1.3. Well, on your site, we can read the Carfax report. You can read everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, you know, the information that we, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and the market demands that. You know, they want every piece of information or they're just going to pass you by and go look at someone else's car. So the market, again, has influenced how we do that. So we provide everything. But it's, it's, it, I think that's a pretty interesting dynamic where, you know, it used to be you'd go to four dealerships and then make your decision. Now you pretty much go to one. You've already made your decision before you hop in your car and say, I'm going to go just confirm, you know, that that car I'm looking at on the line is everything that I believe it is. And now it's 1.3 dealers. So, wow, it's uh, that's amazing. Yeah. It, it is, you know, the efficiency of our guests has gone up dramatically because they're spending all their time now online before they hop in their car and come and see us. So with the history on the car with you know we put of course everything we did to the car we you know it's got four new michelin tires we did the 30,000 mile service it we we replaced the brake pads it has a new battery there you go you know mm-hmm. there it is right and and of course here's the carfax report so you can see the history you'll see that most of our certified cars we are so fortunate you know were purchased originally at our dealership were serviced at our dealership and then we're traded back into us at our dealership. Sure. So, oh, yeah. You know, we, 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 we look at that as kind of the perfect storm. That's the perfect car. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's amazing because you know exactly uh, uh, what that car is going to be like since it was serviced there. Because yeah. the biggest fear people have about buying a pre-owned car is, you know, well, how, how was the car taken care of before? You know, who owned it before? What was, did they treat it well? That's always the fear, right? Or am I just getting? Am I buying someone else's problem? Right. You hear that <laughs> That's, a lot, right? Yeah. And so with L certified and with our history, we um, we can really put all those fears to rest. Here it is. Here's all of it. Yep. So when they see that car online, they go, "That's a car." You know that if if it's everything that it appears to be online, that's the car I should buy. There you go. And we'll take a news break. And we will be back in a couple minutes. You're listening to WSTU Stewart. This is WPSL Fort St. Lucie. back on Treasure Coast Car Guys with Gary Mariasi from our Treasure Coast Lexus and lovely Us One just south of Midway Road. Oh yes, we, uh, we're excited. Midway Road. Yeah. Making a lot of progress there. Have yeah. you been up there? You know, I remember I don't know how many years ago the illustrious Sandy with the office upstairs um, mentioned to me you know they're going to widen Midway Road. I said, you're nuts. They're not going to do anything with that thing. And look at it. And then he says, and wait till you see the rest of the project. Yes. You know, and again, I question him. Don't question him. No. No. He <laughs> he's no. A, but they he's really, uh, you know, the, we talked about the rain earlier, and that slowed them down a little bit, you know, uh, of course, construction. But, um, boy, they are moving right along. Yeah. And that goes, you know, that goes all the way from the coast you know, all the way to uh, to uh, to I ninety five and and the turnpike. Sure. So that's quite a project. Yeah, and it's um, we're going to have to have it. I mean, uh, when you start looking at mm-hmm. um, uh, that study from the Florida Chamber called mm-hmm. the Florida Scorecard, yeah, I mean, when you're talking of a Port St. Lucie in uh, what ten years, mm-hmm. their projection is five hundred twenty thousand. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of that is going to be. Tradition, uh, they're talking 120,000 just in the, mm-hmm. the tradition area. That's dramatic. That's a big jump. I mean, that's mm-hmm. we, we, we've had big jumps before. No, that's. But that's a big jump. 
That, that's really a big deal. Well, you know, and for, uh, for us and uh, you know, other business owners, of course, that is just music to our ears. And, you know, and, they're, and they're doing the right thing. They're getting ahead of it and putting infrastructure in now, preparing for it rather than what most places do, which is you know, wait for the growth to happen and then, and then make it worse by starting oh. a construction project. Right? Thank you, Orlando. Right, or I-4. <laughs> yeah, I, thank you, I-4. That's, that's going to be under construction for the next 300 years. <laughs> it's, you are right. It's, and, oh, boy. Well, we're really excited because you know, we're kinda, we feel like we're kind of at ground zero at the intersection of US-1 and Midway. And uh, that is, uh, we, we, just, we just see tremendous growth opportunity there. And um, it's very exciting. It's very exciting to be a part of. You know, I saw one of uh, your uh, spots last night. And I guess it's the new, is it the IS, where they, they were talking about this revolutionary kind of even bolt that is a whole new metal. You know, and it's like, it's unbelievable. And it's lighter. And it's... Uh, you know, it, it's lighter, but it's stronger, you right. know. That's amazing when you start thinking about all of the new stuff that's going to be there. You know, it is. And a lot of that uh, stems from, you know, the, the cafe regulations on, on uh, you know, figuring out how to get the miles per gallon. Oh, I didn't even you think know, about uh, that. And so, you know, all manufacturers, it's a race to, you know, figure all that out to lighter, stronger, more efficient safer you know you, you've got a that's a that's a giant jig, jigsaw puzzle that um that everybody's trying to put together but you know lexus and and of course our parent company toyota we have always been way out in front of of being innovative yeah, and your figuring development's that stuff out. unbelievable so you know we're excited there are so many incredible things on the horizon and and it, it's just it's an exciting time to be into in, in this industry and it's uh there, it's just it's not going to look like this, you know, five, ten years from now, it won't look anything like it does right now. You're not going to do driverless, are you? You know, they're working on it, of course. But, you know, the thing with Lexus that we know, because there have been some you know, <laughs> mishaps. <laughs> Major uh, mishaps. And, you know, with Lexus, what we know is that they, they won't launch anything until they're a thousand percent certain they have it right. So... I, I don't know. Uh, I, w- I wouldn't say you'll never see that from Lexus because never say never. But I know one thing: you won't see it from us until they feel they have it perfected. Right. And so when you see it from us, you'll know it's right. You know they got it right. Just don't start s- selling Teslas along the way. <laughs> Catch fire. <laughs> we were talking about that on the previous show, and and you know it, it, the video was all over the place. It, it went that was his wife who shot it, that video. Right? I know oh it was a, the director's wife who shot the video, and and then uh, all of a sudden, you know, it's like their stock went up seventeen points. I'm sitting there going, <laughs> "This is not counterintuitive. How does that happen?" Well, oh, it was oh uh, man. You know, was that he, was that uh, Mr. Musk buying uh, buying up all the outstanding shares? Yeah, well, and drive I, the I, price I, up. It could have been. I, He's yeah. very good at that. Oh boy, yeah. But yeah, the revolutionary uh, things that are happening in your industry. It's mm-hmm. like, how do you? That the obvious question is okay. You just mentioned dramatic changes in five years. So how do you long range plan then? That's got to be. <laughs> It's we not, all have them. It's not easy, not by any stretch. But I, I will tell you that, you know, here's the constant, the part that doesn't change, and that is um, you have to have exceptional people. And because regardless of what the vehicles will look like or what they can do or can't do, um, and in fact even more so as they become more complicated and more involved, uh, you're – it, it still comes back to your people. And, you know, great people will, will adapt. You know, they'll, they'll figure it out, and, and they, they will adapt to the changes. Uh, the your staff is wonderful. I mean, just they're beyond, beyond the charts. They're Thank really, you. Really, really good. And they are. You know, we, we, uh, we take great pride in that. And, you know, we're so fortunate. We, we sell Lexus vehicles. I mean, there, there's nothing better. Uh, you, you know, to sell. So we're very fortunate there. We live on the Treasure Coast. I mean, it's a beautiful place. Our facility is breathtaking. I mean, what a place to work, right? And we work for great people. 
you know, so the the variable is it's the staff. You know, it, it's those folks on the front lines interacting with our guests, whether it be in person, on the phone, via the Internet, Snapchat, you know, Instagram. Uh, wow. You know, there, there are a hundred <laughs> yeah. ways to do it now, right? Sure, yeah. So, uh, but every, you know, every interaction is critical. And um, what what we are really focused on is that part of the equation because that's the one part we can control. The marketplace and, and buying habits and things like that, those are going to change whether we want them to or not. We're, we're not going to stop it. We're not going to slow it down. We're not going to change it. So we have to be prepared to adapt, and the only way we'll do that is with great people. And, you know, that's always been our advantage. It's always been Lexus's advantage along with great cars. But you can, you know, you can build a great car. You, you can have a beautiful facility. And if you have, you know, a bunch of knuckleheads, you know, interacting with your guests. Problems. <laughs> you're going to have nothing but problems. Yeah, so yeah. This, the key component still are those people hiring the right people, training them constantly, um, giving them the tools they need. But mostly it's, 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 it's the people and, the, and I always call it the raw materials they bring to the table because we can teach anybody the technology in a car we could teach them how to demonstrate it but i can't teach people to like people i can't teach folks to want to help people i can't teach people to be honorable you know i can't teach people to like to work hard you know, they either bring that to the table to us or they don't and so we really focus on those raw materials, as, as we call them, and because the rest of it we can teach. And you were talking last week about service. And I think, again, it, it, it is your people that are amazing from the person that will greet the people coming mm -hmm. in to uh, the person that actually does the work. And, uh, you know, I was kidding with Carol. She just got got her car uh, back and um it couldn't have been maybe three hours later we had an email a thank you email mm -hmm. and i'm thinking wow <laughs> wait a minute this is an absolute first mm -hmm. uh and then a snail mail <laughs> came mm -hmm. to the station it's like wow this is something this is really something you're taking time to follow up and and that's a critical component for us because, <clears throat> excuse me, we have. Let's face it, our clientele, um, for the, for you know certainly the great majority, um, they can buy, you know any vehicle that they choose. You know if they if they say, well this car kind of does everything I want it to do, it looks the way I want it, they can go get that car. So they don't have to shop with me. They don't have to buy from me. And even if once they settle on Lexus, well, we're not the only Lexus store either. You know, they, they could do business with somebody else. So we have to really make it um, sort of a no-brainer, you know, where there's no other option but for them to do business with us. And the only way to do that is exceptional service. Exceptional. Not, not good, not very good. Right. You know, and Lexus's tagline now is experience amazing. Yeah. And we live that every day. We talk about it every day. And we want every guest we interact with to experience amazing. We want to wow them. We want them when it's all said and done, regardless of why they're there or why they're talking to us, we want them to go, wow. When we get that, we know we've done our job. Sure. We get the wow. That's what we're looking for yeah. every time. <laughs> that's, that's it. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just that, just that yeah. That's it. So, um, so we're talking about certified pre-owned when, when yeah, we went to break. Yeah. And, you know, we kind of left off at the point where, you know, we, we, we've selected, you know, we've taken a car in on trade or we got it back on lease turn in and, and we've, we've, we've eliminated the cars that don't qualify to be certified. Then we put them in the service department, 161 point inspection. We probably eliminate a couple more through that inspection process that can't be certified. So what we're left with now is absolutely the cream of the crop. And we certify them, which in many cases means, like I said, a new set of tires, brakes, batteries, belts, hoses, whatever we have to do to that car to 
bring that car back up to the way it was when it was new mechanic. And I heard you and Veronica talking about the the um, uh, oh, <laughs> what do you uh, call it? The gar- guarantee, the warranty. Guarantee. Warranty. There you go. Oh yeah. Pardon me. There. Well, here's here's you know we've got that car up to the point now where okay we've certified it, stamped it, certified. Now we put it online and we put it on our lot, and it is now L certified, which is a Lexus only badge. A lot of people say their car is certified. L certified is what you what you have to look for, mm-hmm. because certified could mean. You know, we ran it through the car wash and put a certified yeah, sticker on Yeah, that's right. That's what it means we in most places. We had a spare places. certified sticker <laughs> right. on yeah. L certified is, is the only thing that should be acceptable. We take that car, we put it online. Now, we before we went to break, I started to talk a little bit about pricing. Because, obviously, we're in competitive market. There are plenty of places to buy pre-owned cars. And so we've got to be competitive price-wise. So our pricing strategy, for lack of a better term, is we go online and we look at everything that our guest is looking at. We look at cars.com. We look at Auto Trader. We look at Car Gurus. We look at True Car. We look at everything. And so we know what is a competitive price on that vehicle versus, you know, the five other vehicles like it that are out there. We price our car accordingly. You know, in the old days, we used to say, well, you know, we own a car for twenty thousand dollars. We're going to price it for twenty four nine ninety five, regardless if that was right, uh, wrong, good price, bad price. That was many, many years ago. But today, our guests do a lot more homework. They do a lot more shopping, so they know what that car should sell for. They're a lot smarter. So, does that Cars dot com or somebody mm-hmm. like that? Do they have your L certifieds? Oh, they up will. There? Yes. They get copies of that, too. They do. They feed wow. right from our website. So, uh, you know, I, I use Cars.com a lot for my my research because they'll show all of the uh, franchise dealerships like Lexus, so you'll see all the L-certified cars. They'll also show independent lots, you know, what they're selling cars for. They'll sell private show private party sales, you know, the guy who's got it in his driveway with a for sale sign in it. So you get to see everything. You know, you get to see the entire market. I've never been on that side. I'll have to take a it's look pretty at interesting. You know, you put in the make, model, year, equipment you sure. want, yeah. and, it, and it'll sort by. You can do a 150 mile radius, a 500 mile radius. You can, and wow. uh, it's a really neat snapshot of <laughs> the market. That's amazing. So we look at all of that. We look at what Kelly Blue Book says the car should sell for. We look at what NADA says the car should sell for. Kelly Blue Book, we like that because that's a consumer website. Our guests are looking at it. So we want to know what they're looking at. NADA, that's what the banks use to value cars. So, okay. you know, those are two really good perspectives. And um, so now we know, okay, that car, you know, should sell for $30,000. We price it accordingly. So regardless of, and this is where it's really changed the industry, regardless of what we own the car for, or what we paid for it, or how much we spent to certify it. None of that matters because the guest doesn't care. Guest doesn't care. Yeah, that's you know, true. if I paid too much money for that car, well, you're going to be Gary, upset. That's your problem. That's not my problem as a guest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, if you spent more to recondition it than you originally estimated, once again, that's your problem. That's not my problem. Because the market says that car should sell for thirty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, I don't care if you own it for thirty one thousand dollars. That's your problem. <laughs> that is your problem. Do oh. do a better job next time, right? So that's where the industry has really changed. So we price the car to market, regardless of what we paid for it, or, or, or you know what we put into it. And most cases, you'll see on most of my internet ads, I'll be, you know. A thousand to three thousand dollars below the Kelly Blue Book retail value on the car, so we price aggressively. Really? Okay. Well, and here is here is also where it's changed because fifteen years ago we used to price them really high, so guests would come in, and Talk we would down. we would fight back and forth <laughs> for an hour or two. Oh and, God, I hate and, that. And you know, and you know, they they'd feel great because they got oh I got a five thousand dollar discount, and they were still paying too much money for the car. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. We don't do that anymore yeah. because guests, 
Again, these surveys that everybody does and NADA does for 30 years, guess what the guests tell them about the negotiating process? They hate it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We see it in our own surveys that Lexus does. They love the vehicles. They love the certified program. They love the dealership. They love their salesperson. They hated the negotiation. So a few years back, we decided that, well, we're not doing that anymore. So we put our best price online. There it is. And it's price to market. And at the end of every internet ad, it says the same thing. We price our cars to market to give you a haggle, hassle-free, no-haggle sales experience. Come to Treasure Coast Lexus you know, and see why so many people have chosen us as their destination for pre-owned vehicles. So we've given, again, the market what they've been demanding and screaming for you know, for many, many years. So now we've certified the many car. Many decades. Decades. <laughs> we've certified yeah. the car. We put it online. We put it out there at an aggressive price. It's ready to go. And that's why people only visit 1.3 dealerships now that's amazing before driving stat. out in the car because it's all right there. You can look it up. You can see it's priced right. Yep. I can see the history. I see everything you did to the car. I've got 28 pictures of the car online. You can see inside, outside, under the hood. You see the tires. You see everything. And it's got the equipment I want. So that's the car I want. It's the right color. And so I'm going to go. The, the reason it's 1.3 dealerships and not one, and this comes from the folks that do these surveys, they say most of the folks that go somewhere else, Many of those cases, the vehicle they wanted sold before they got there. Gotcha. Yeah. The exact vehicle they wanted from the time they looked at it maybe three or four days ago till the time they got there. Gone. It was gone. Yeah. That's why it's 1.3, you know, maybe not 1.1 or 1. I remember this goes back years ago when uh, Veronica first started. It was about 15 years ago, I guess, that she was talking about going to it was like eight or nine dealerships to look for a truck i'm going what <laughs> you wasted a whole weekend looking for a stupid truck i couldn't believe you know and back in the day you know visiting a dealership was you know most oh. most people would rather go get a root canal yeah. you know so imagine doing that eight or nine times right no, no i and getting can't. abused and you know no. lied to and and you know eight or nine times where you know now it's look Everything's there. You've confirmed everything you need to know. You can even go online and there's a payment calculator and you can I mean you sure. you can do oh, yeah. 90% of this before you ever step foot in my store. Yeah. And uh, it's made for a much better transactional experience. It's just it's not nearly as confrontational as it used to be, not nearly as argumentative. Um, hey, I'm here to P see P2790. <laughs> we pull it up, we drive it. Yep, it's everything it would look like online. We already know the price. That's it. Here we go. Yeah. Congratulations. So, it it it's made a lot of a lot of people in my industry, you know, bemoan the internet and they say, "Oh man, the good old days, you know, when guests didn't know anything and, you know, we could we could really have our way." <sighs> look, it, you know, I, I worked in the industry then, I work in it now. And, and I like now a lot better. You know, our guests now come in completely educated. And with Lexus, the better educated the consumer, well, the more likely are they are to pick Lexus. Okay. You have repeatedly during this show, and again, this shows the difference, referred to us consumers, if you will, as guests. Oh, yes. And I think that, too is the difference between you and, if you want to call it, a huge corporate store. In the Lexus Covenant, you know, that they wrote up back in the late 90s when they, when they launched the brand, right in the Covenant, you know, one of the sentences that we focus on a lot is we are to treat um, every customer as we would a guest in our own home. That's the that's the Lexus Covenant, okay. okay. And we read it and and live it, but that's that's Lexus's DNA. You know, that's who we are. 
that's where we came from. So when you start from that point, you know, then good things happen from there. But yes, they are guests. They are our guests, and um, and and we and we take that responsibility very seriously. And, and again, we know they're here voluntarily. They don't have to come. They don't have to be here. And besides, I like that room where they have some toys on the floor. Where I can, <laughs> can kind of sit down and relax. Well, we've got something for everyone, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Which tells you a little something about me. No, I'll tell you. No, you know, it's, last it's, but no. certainly not least, I, and I don't want to, we've talked about L-certified, L-certified, L-certified. And sometimes people forget, we carry other things beside L-certified. Yes. Because to be certified, a car has to be 2013 or newer and have less than 70,000 miles. Well, I mean, we, you know, for example, we've got a beautiful 2004 LS white tan interior, immaculate, just a beautiful, beautiful car. You know, that, of course, is not certified, but we are certainly carrying that. We carry, you know, off brands that we take in on trade. You know, we've got a beautiful Audi A7. Somebody, you know, got out of an Audi and, and traded it in on, on a Lexus, and that happens frequently. You know, we've got a beautiful BMW X3, a 2014 We've got um, a, a 2016 Nissan Rogue, panoramic roof, navigation, nice little car, and, you know, 21795 I think a, a lot of people assume, you know, I can't go to a Lexus store because, you know, everything they have is just going to be priced out of my budget. I've got a 2013 Chevy, Chevy Equinox, a little um, SUV, 12875 It's under $13,000. Wow. So we've got all shapes and sizes, and we want to service the entire family's auto needs, whether that's, you know, the the son and daughter going to college, whether it's, you know, uh, a, a car for the weekends, a little sports car. We've got an 03 SC430, you know, the little V8 oh, convertible, yeah. hardtop yeah, yeah, convertible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, we've got the, we've got it all. So don't you know? Go to our website. Come visit us. Come to our lot, and uh, please don't assume that. Well, gosh, if it's not an L certified, I won't have it because we've got them all. Treasure Coast Lexus, and of course, eighteen miles down the road, and we've got Treasure Coast Toyota as well, right? We do. Hey, thank you so much for being back with us, and that's Treasure Coast Car Guys right here on WPSL Port St. Lucie and WSTU Stewart.